Indescript Dictionary by Jay Kumar. There are many Indescript decipherments so far. Hence, I am constrained to add my name to differentiate my research work. Indescript is a composite language. The Indescript had remained undeciphered because the underlying language is not known. One group claims that it is based on the Dravidian language, whereas the other group claims that it is based on the Sanskrit language. Verification so far reveals that the Indescript language is a mixture of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic and the Sanskrit language. Is it a Dravidian language or an, or an Aryan language? The Egyptian hieroglyphic was deciphered based on the Rosetta stone, which had a trilingual inscription. A lack of such bilingual text in the Indus scale inscriptions make the decipherment work difficult. Further, the underlying language of these inscriptions is also not known. Is it a Dravidian language or an Aryan language? This unanswered question makes the decipherment work much more difficult. It is no longer a puzzle. My research work shows that Indescript is a mixture of the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic and the Vedic Sanskrit language. The hieroglyphic component, I call it as the Dravidian language component of the Indescript. So it is a composite language. One important breakthrough in the Indescript decipherment effort is that the identification of the Egyptian hieroglyphic influence on the Indescript. Nearly 30 such hieroglyphics have been used as such in the Indescript. This identification shows that there is no need of any bilingual inscription to decipher the Indescript. Fish symbol In the Sanskrit language, fish is called as Matsya. This fish symbol has been used in a logographic way as well as the ideographic way. Ma sound should be taken while reading in the logosyllabic way of reading. And in the ideographic expression, the fish symbol should be read as the soul of the dead person, that is the ancestor. Kau symbol. This is the second most commonly used symbol in the Indus inscription. It was really quite difficult to identify the meaning of this symbol. I assigned 10 different meanings to this symbol before arriving at the conclusion. The final conclusion is that it indicates the dead man's spirit. The symbol is the modified form of the two upraised hands. It is an Egyptian hieroglyphic symbol, which indicated the word Ka, which meant the dead man's spirit. The symbol stands for the word Kau, meaning sacrifice. Kau is a Tamil word and not a Sanskrit word. Logogram writing. The picture straight away indicates the men's toilet. Such a way of writing is called as logogram. The Indus script is written in much more advanced way of writing, which is called as ideographic way of writing. Logosyllabic way of writing. The seal inscription shown in this slide shows the logosyllabic way of writing. The first symbol shows the dead ancestor who were called as Pitrus in the Sanskrit language. The second grapheme is a composite of two symbols. The fish symbol is drawn within the upraised hands symbol. These two symbols together stands for the word karma in the logosyllabic way of writing. This is the best example for the logosyllabic way of writing. The ideographic way of writing. The third way of writing is called as ideographic way of writing. Airavada Mahadevan suggested that the Indus scripts have been written in the ideographic way in the year 2014. Note the first symbol. A ladder is attached to a H-shaped symbol. The ladder indicates the ascendancy of the dead man's soul to the heaven. 
Here the ladder stands for the idea Agnistoma Yajna. Here an entire idea has been drawn in a single grapheme. Majority of the Indus inscriptions are written in this kind of ideographic way. Reverse principle in the Indus script writing. The Indus scripts are generally written in the ideographic way. However, few cases of the rebus principles are also seen. The above given symbol indicates three bricks tied together and with an offering on the top. This symbol does not merely mean a brick. It indicates the istika ceremony. Istika means brick. Since the word for brick, that is istika, is similar to the istika ceremony, the symbol of brick has been used. It is a clear-cut case of use of rebus principle in the Indus script writing. Direction of reading. The inscription in the above given seal should be read from the side being faced by the animal. That is, start reading the inscription from left to right. This method of reading is supported by the fact that the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics were written using the similar method. Twisted bird indicates the idea of fear, which is similar to hieroglyphics. The X symbol indicates God Varuna or Yama. The inscriptions read like this. Fear the wrath of X God. Sacrifice was carried out to please the God Varuna or it could be Yama also, that is the God of Death. The Gatekeeper God. This symbol of man carrying a stick indicates the gatekeeper god. Gatekeeper gods were there for the underworld god as well as the sky god. All the Hindu gods have gatekeepers. See the seal in the middle. The door itself carries the stick. How will it be possible for an inanimate object like a door to carry a stick? It conveys the idea of a gatekeeper god. This seal only gave me a breakthrough and the idea of the gatekeeper god was born. Such gatekeeper god is called as Karupaswami in Tamil Nadu. Human Sacrifice Asko Parpolo says that the seal shown here depicts a human sacrifice ritual. The inscription reads like this. Read from left to right. Karkida Kavu Pitru Kavu Pasu, which means Karkida month sacrifice for Pitrus, a man was sacrificed. Goat indicates Vedic God Pusan, who is shown as a witness to the sacrifice as well as messenger God. He carries the sacrifice portion to gods as well as the message of the people to the respective God. Seven dancer indicates Pleiade consolation. And in Hindu religion, they are known as Saptamathas. Human Sacrifice Crab symbol indicates Karkida month ritual. The second crab symbol with stick across stands for Da sound, Danda. These two symbols should be read together as Karkida. Kavu symbol means sacrifice in Tamil. Fish symbol indicates Pitrus. Kavu symbol indicates the modified form of Ka symbol of ancient Egypt. Man symbol indicates that a man was sacrificed. Vedic god Brahma or Mirgashira. So far historians have identified the god as Protoshiva or Pasupati. The god shown in the seal is a sky god. Because various animals depicted in the seals are similar to the animals surrounding the Orient constellation in the sky. This confirms that God shown in the seal was a sky god. His name could be either Brahma or Mirgashira. Both these gods have the same characteristics. Hunter on tree, God He or Ayappa. This seal this interseal illustration could be indicating the old mythological story of the hunter on the Bilbam tree on Shivratri day. 
this mythological story is still popular in India. The god depicted in the sale could be the Egyptian god He. He is popularly known as God Ayappa in South India. For more information on these issues, visit my website, Indus Dictionary by Jay Kumar. Seal Pictures Courtesy, Book of Sousrivan, 2011. Thanks to all of you.